Hi and welcome to another Type with Me. In today's video I want to compare UUID, CUID and NANOID to create unique identifiers. So the UUID has 128-bit length, 36 characters including hyphens. It's extremely low collision probability and it has multiple versions and variants available. So let's go and check this out. So it has multiple versions available and in this case we are using version 4 and if we run this for example we get the um, following results. All right, A unique identifier. <laughs> so but, but you can use uh, a lot of other um, versions as well. If you go to the MPMGS um, website and you search for UUID, you will find more info about the other versions and uh, variabilities. So the next one in line is CUID. It's 25 characters long, sequential. Uh, sequential for easy sorting. It's designed for horizontal scaling in distributed systems and it's more compact than a UUID. So the code looks a little bit familiar with what we saw before, but now it's a CUID. If we now run Dino, we need to say yes. And you see it's more compact, right? Very compact. Well, not very compact, of course, because it's a little bit compacter than the UUID. And last but not least, the Nano ID, customizable length, uh, default 21 characters, URL friendly, and extremely fast to generate. So Nano ID is very nice for building uh, front-end applications and to have indeed a compact unique identifier. So if we run this, you see that it's even more compact than the CUID. And it's nice because it's also very unique. So if you're building nice front-end applications, I would recommend to go for Nano ID. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so. That means a lot to me. Thank you very much and see you next time.